These salary issues are too big to stay behind closed doors. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actor salary controversies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at instances where an actor's paycheck became news as big as the project they were working on. Number 10. Not a lot of dough for Gadot. Wonder Woman. In 2017, Gal Gadot's fantastic performance in Wonder Woman made the film a critical and box office success. So when rumors emerged that Gadot was paid a mere $300,000 for the heroic role, while Henry Cavill was paid $14 million to star in Man of Steel, fans were outraged. However, later reports found no proof that Cavill was paid that much to don the red cape for just one film. Although this controversy was based on an exaggeration, it brought attention to the gender pay gap issue in Hollywood. It also demonstrated that people are already willing to defend this powerful heroine. Oh, you should be ashamed. Diana. All of you should Diana. be ashamed. Number nine, strings definitely attached. No strings attached. Do you want to do this? Do what? This rom-com with Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher has two characters who equally wanted to hook up without a relationship. Unfortunately, that equality didn't seem to apply to their paychecks. In an interview with Marie Claire UK magazine, Portman announced that Kutcher had been paid three times more than she was to do the film. She called the difference between their earnings crazy and hinted that her story was part of a bigger Hollywood problem. Portman's candid interview drew support from the internet, as well as her co-star Kutcher. So messed up. Number eight, the unequal pay files. The X-Files. I'm Dana Scully. I've been assigned to work with you. Although many things have changed for the X-Files since the 90s, the issue of equal pay seems to have stuck around. When the show first aired, Gillian Anderson had to fight to receive the same salary as her co-star David Duchovny, despite them both being lead characters. Come on! When Fox revived the series in 2016, she had to fight for fair pay again. Anderson told The Hollywood Reporter that Fox originally intended to pay her half of what Duchovny was getting to reprise her role. Mulder, this stinks. Fortunately, Anderson was able to negotiate her deal, and the two stars were paid equally for the show's return. Certainly was good for you. Number seven, right wronged. House of Cards. Now tell me, am I really the sort of enemy you want to make? On House of Cards, Robin Wright plays the powerful and resourceful Claire Underwood. Wright brought those characteristics out when it came time to negotiate her salary. In 2016, Wright reported that co-star Kevin Spacey was making $80,000 more per episode than she was. She threatened to tell the media about the disparity unless they were both paid the same amount. As of May 2017, the pay gap was still there. Now that sexual misconduct allegations against Spacey have caused Netflix to drop him from House of Cards, Wright will become the show's main lead. Whether she will be paid more remains to be seen. My turn. Number six, the company fights back, Three's Company. Now I need your full name, Christmas Snow. Not every salary dispute ends well. Suzanne Somers learned this the hard way with her role as Chrissy Snow in Three's Company. Prior to season five, Summers attempted to raise her salary from $30,000 to $150,000 an episode. The increase would have given her the same pay as her co-star John Ritter, but when ABC counteroffered a $5,000 raise instead, Summers refused to work for two episodes. The network retaliated by cutting her screen time, writing her off the show, and eventually replacing her. Summers' tumultuous exit also led to a feud with her former co-star, Joyce DeWitt, that took decades to resolve. What's the matter? <laughs> Number five, Leaving Hawaii, Hawaii 5 -0. Okay, we're police officers. This cop show returned for season eight without two of its ensemble actors. Actors Daniel Day Kim and Grace Park campaigned to get the same pay as their co-stars Alex O'Loughlin and Scott Kahn. CBS reportedly offered raises, but they still fell short of Kim and Park's demands. As a result, the actors chose not to return, and their characters were written off the show. Their negotiations drew accusations that the pay gap was due to Kim and Park's Asian heritage. Despite the controversial exit, Kim later posted a message encouraging fans of the show while mentioning that the path to equality is rarely easy. I mean, you have to feel good with what you need to do at the end of the day. And sometimes when you're a little bit younger, you're pressured into doing certain things. Number four, child labor, slumdog millionaire. I Jamal, and that's my big brother, Salim. Actors Azra Din Ismail and Rubina Ali were thrust into the spotlight with their roles in Slumdog Millionaire. As the film became a smash hit, the parents of the young actors claimed the children had been underpaid for their work. Although the exact salary numbers were never made public, Ali and Ismail were still living in poor conditions after the film was released. Director Danny Boyle addressed the issue by announcing the Jai Ho Trust, 
a fund created to provide financial support for the education and housing of the film's young stars. Number three, not all the money. All the money in the world. I do not have the money to spare. After Kevin Spacey's career was derailed by scandal, director Ridley Scott decided to remove his performance in All the Money in the World and replace him with Christopher Plummer. Scott also asked actors back to set to reshoot key scenes. While Michelle Williams received a working rate of $80 a day, Mark Wahlberg got $1.5 million to return to set. Although it's unclear if each actor's contract affected these rates, the news of this gigantic gap between their fees drew major criticism. Wahlberg eventually donated his paycheck to the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, an organization created to fight for victims of sexual misconduct. I'm gonna find your son. Number two. The one with a million dollars, Friends. I just want a million dollars. <laughs> when millions of people watch your show weekly, you gain a lot of leverage. In 2002, the sitcom Friends was a ratings powerhouse for NBC. The six lead cast members took advantage of this fact, walked into negotiations, and asked for a payday of one million dollars each per episode to do another season. We're gonna be all like, oh, everybody, let's take our helicopters up to the cave. NBC granted the request and each actor took home a staggering $22 million for the season. And they also received syndication bonuses, which earn money for reruns. The cast's astronomical asking price raised plenty of eyebrows, with even the show's co-creator calling their paydays ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Before we give our top pick a raise, here are some honorable mentions. This is my kitchen, you're in it, and I don't know who you are. Dear God, I just lost my mother. Lisa, if you don't like your job, you don't strike. You just go in every day and do it really half-assed. Who the hell is that? My dad. Something that at one time felt okay that it was unbalanced started to feel not as good. Number one, hustled out of equal pay, American Hustle. It's empty, just like your deals, empty, empty. The 2014 hack of Sony Pictures uncovered a variety of shocking emails that exposed a dark side of Hollywood. In one exchange, it was revealed that both Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams were given less of a share of the profits from American Hustle than the male leads. The disparity caused the Academy Award-winning Lawrence to write an essay that discussed the gender pay gap and other issues that women face in Hollywood. The piece was praised by her co-star Amy Adams, along with many other celebrities and fans. Lawrence's essay also brought much-needed awareness to the persistent gender pay gap in Hollywood. I had to say something. 